Hello and welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another pen for review and uh, this is another pen that I actually came away with uh, from the London Pen Show in March 2023 and this is a pen that I really do like. Uh, I have one in two different colours and this is a Yurushi pen, very special pen and I have to say very in awe that uh, I managed to pick up this pen at the pen show. I, I wasn't looking to buy a pen, uh, let alone two pens. So um, it was a little bit of a shock for me, but I'm still glad in hindsight that I did it. So I think let's unbox this pen. You will see here a beautiful, stunning pen. And this is uh, a Yurushi Makie pen. Uh, and it's uh, a commission pen of 10 in this red dragon, 10 in green dragon, and uh, it was commissioned by Tweeko, which if you don't know, is a is a, um, a combination of John Twiss, who's a custom pen maker in the UK, and Vince Coates, who runs Northumberland Penco, and also uh, the Turner's Workshop in the UK. Uh, and this pen was commissioned by a Taiwanese artist, and her name is called Ho Ching. And she goes by the name Seishu, S-E-I-S-H-U. Now, she is actually uh, an artist that is actually pretty, pretty good at her work. Uh, she started uh, her apprenticeship with a Japanese lacquer master called Yamazaki Mushu. And that was in 2017. And in 2020, uh, started her own independent lacquer a brand uh, called Seishu and she has done a lot of collaboration. She's worked on uh, a number of things. So she interned at Pelican in 2019 and uh, did uh, helped create the uh, Pelican M1000 Wild and Greenway. She's exhibited numerous lacquerware uh, uh, at an exhibition. She also helped make Pelican the uh, Suvron M800 Royal Gold Radon, which I have, uh, and also the uh, Royal uh, Platinum Radon as well. Uh, she also does collaborations with Fine Writing International. So if you find some of her pens uh, or, or some Yurushi pens at Fine Writing International, they're probably made by her, uh, or at least the artwork is anyway. So this is a really beautiful, beautiful uh, red dragon here. And you can see the abalone Raden eyes there really glistening. Uh, absolutely a, a lovely touch. Um, and as I said, this comes in two colours, a red dragon and a green dragon. And I did pick up both. So this is the red dragon. Uh, but you can see here that this really is quite stunning uh, uh, sort of dragon. Uh, it's very raised uh, to the touch. So you can feel that dragon there. Uh, and then you can see all of the scales of that dragon. Uh, then there's a fireball there as well. And you can even actually see like the, the puff of smoke or wind there. And then the end of the dragon tail and more wind. Uh, it really is a very beautiful, beautiful pen. And, and I have to say that very in awe that I managed to pick this one up uh, at the, the pen show. Uh, you don't see these kind of pens that often. Uh, typically, when you do, they tend to be like Namiki Emperors or Danny Trios, and they typically are a lot of money. So uh, th this wasn't a cheap pen, but it also wasn't to the expense of some of the Namiki Emperors uh, are that you see with dragons there. Um, if I 
remove uh, the cap. And you, you will actually see that this is a spring-loaded cap. So you have to push it in and twist at the same time to, to get that um, to engage. The pattern also lines up every single time. Uh, it, it really is a work of art. Um, it comes with a number six size uh, Yovo 14 karat gold nib there with plastic feed. Uh, I do have this inked up already. I couldn't resist writing with it. So I have got that inked up with a red ink. It is a cartridge converter. And uh, I think it's actually quite nice. Now, in the size of my hand, you can actually see this is a really good size. Uh, you cannot post the cap. It's not designed to do so. And I wouldn't be posting Makie or Yurushi pens anyway. Uh, the Yurushi lacquer is quite hard, but I wouldn't want to like scratch or mar that finish. Um, it does have a little bit of a domed uh, point to the end cap and also the, the cap finial there as well. Uh, has some shallow threads, but it really is a, a very, very comfortable pen. Now, I actually, the originals here are a numbered uh, edition of 10. 10 in the green, 10 in the red. Uh, I actually picked up the uh, prototypes. The numbered edition ones were £1,750. The, um, the only difference, the three differences between the prototype versions that I have and the non-prototype or numbered versions are one, the numbering, so you have a number on the pen. Two, on, on the section on the numbered ones, you'll have the artist's signature there. And three is that the prototypes are actually half the price of the main numbered editions. So uh, I I thought long and hard about this. I Ideally, I would like the numbered editions. But £1,750 was a lot for essentially an unbranded, unnamed pen, although I did find out more about the pen afterwards. But half that price is a lot better. And and I knew that I wouldn't be able to split up the two siblings, the green and the red dragon. So getting two for the price of one, essentially, I thought was a good deal. So, And I actually managed to get even a further discount off of that. So uh, I didn't actually pay half. I paid less than half for each of the pens. Uh, so I'm very glad for both John Twist and Vince Coates uh, for allowing me to buy these pens and for the discount as well because uh, they did give me a, a nice discount, which which was actually unexpected. So thank you guys. Uh, that was very, very nice. So uh, this is a beautiful pen. I, I love Yurushi. I love Makie. And this is going to be a pen that I'm going to treasure in my collection for a long time along with the green version as well so i think let's do a size check we'll do a weight check we'll do a pen comparison then we'll do a writing sample so the length of this pen we are looking at about 153 millimeters in length the length of the cap is 67 millimeters in length and we'll take the cap off and we'll measure the body here the body is, I want to say, about 138 to 140, probably 140 millimeters uh, in length. It's actually a really, really good size. And when I say good size, you can see that there in the size of my hand. It's actually a really decent size pen. So I think let's do a weight check. And try and get that to balance there. Now, the full weight of the pen, and this is inked up, and I'm going to see if I can try and not have it roll around too much, is just over 36.5 grams in weight. It is an ebonite pen, so ebonite typically are lighter. The weight of the cap is around about 10.5 grams in weight. And then the weight of the body inked up, we are looking at just over 26 grams in weight. So that is actually quite a nice weight. And I do like Yurushi. I do like Ebonite pens. Uh, and this really is beautiful. You can see the dragon here is absolutely stunning. So 
Uh, I'm glad that I was able to add this one to my collection. So I think with that, let's do a comparison with other pens. So from left to right, we have a Tatcha Miami Winter's Breath. We have a Tatcha Miami Empress Winter's Breath. We have a Danny Trio, and this is the Ancient Dragon. We have a Danny Trio, and this is the Moonlit Grass. We have a Danny Trio Chinkin. We have a Tweeko Seishu Dragon in red. We have a Yurushi Studio India Xyphos R in Aka Tamanuri. We have a Tatcha Miami Earth in Aka Tamanuri. We have a Nakaya Long Cigar in Toki Tamanuri. And a Nakaya Long Cigar in Heki Tamanuri. So I think let's now go and do a writing sample. So this is the Tweeko. Uh, Seishu and this is the dragon in red and it is a medium and it is an 18 cat gold uh, Yovo nib and I have to say this is writing really really well uh, the ink in here today uh, I decided with KWZ and it is thief's red um, I could have probably gone with something like Diamine Red Dragon or something like that, but I just wanted, I, I know what Thief's Red is like, and I thought that that would actually be a really nice match for that red on that dragon there. Now, in terms of line width, let's take a look. It's definitely putting down a medium, Western medium line. Uh, I can push that 18 count gold nib a little bit more and get a broad out of it. Um, this nib writes exquisitely well, and you can see there, there is no hard starts or skips on those vertical lines. I don't know if this nib uh, was tuned by John Soroka, the uh, nib smith of, uh, in the UK, but this nib writes exquisitely well. Same with the Green Dragon. Uh, beautiful, beautiful nib. Now, in terms of wetness, let's take a look at how wet this nib and ink is. And we'll do a cross section there as well. This is certainly a what I would term a fire hose of a nib. Uh, fire hose normally for me is around the mid section of the page. Uh, this really is a, a beautiful writing pen. And very glad that I was able to pick this up. So again, thanks to John Twist and Vince Coates for for allow me to buy this pen for, for what I paid. It, it's an amazing um, uh, offer that they made to me. Uh, what do I like? What do I not like about this pen? I, I love that it's a Yurushi. Uh, it's an Ebonite under under that Yurushi. Uh, it's it's a Yurushi uh, Macchia pen. I really love the artwork. I really actually love what Seishu is doing. Uh, that is a really, really... A good amount of artwork on that pen. Uh, I would like to see more pens uh, potentially from her in the future. Uh, I kind of hope that that uh, Tweeko will 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 do some more limited edition runs of pens uh, with with her. And uh, I think it would be great if they did. I, I don't know if that is on the cards or th this this pen was commissioned in 2018, so just uh, a couple of years really prior to. Uh, the uh, pandemic, um, the coronavirus, and unfortunately uh, didn't arrive until, I believe, sort of towards late 22. Um, so these pens do take a long time to, to make, especially if you're making 20 of them. So, uh, And it's, it's a, a, an artist that's painting these by hand. So I don't know if there will be more on their way at some point uh, in different designs, but very glad I was able to pick this one up. So that's my review of the Tweeko Seishu Dragon in red in a medium 18 karat gold nib. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye.